Hey, how's it guys? Right, so it's been a while since I uh, post anything related to uh, PyQt. So I thought I'd make this video to show you how we can uh, copy table from a third party uh, source into QTable widget. All right, so let me just give you a quick demo before we dive into the tutorial. So here's going to be uh, the application we're going to build, just a very simple demo. And by default, we know uh, there's no uh, copy paste feature built in into the queue table widget, at least not uh, into a big area. And this is the uh, complete demo. So here, let me copy my Excel table. Then I'm going to uh, select cell. Let's do uh, cell A3. So I forgot to uh, change the label. So if I use the shortcut Control V, I'll be able to paste my table from Excel into my queue table widget application. All right, so this is going to be the feature we're going to build in into the demo. All right, so in my uh, demo script, I already pre-built the script to construct uh, the application interface. All right, so if I try to do a uh, control paste, and here notice that uh, the application is now responding. And that's because uh, this is a brand new uh, application that we still haven't implemented the uh, copy paste feature. All right, so here uh, let's do this. So to be able to implement the uh, copy paste feature, so here I'm going to create a class and increase the font size. All right, so I'll name the class table. It's a uh, table widget, not table. And I'll pass Q table widget class as the parent class. All right, so here I need to uh, create my constructor. So for the parameters, we're going to have rows and columns, and those are going to be the uh, table dimension size. Then I'm going to have an optional parameter called parent. And here I'm going to uh, insert a uh, super statement. All right, so I forgot to uh, cover the uh, libraries that I'll be using. All right, so I'll be using uh, PyQt6 framework. But essentially, PyQt5, PyQt6, uh, the difference is very minimal. All right, so from the Qt widgets library, I'm going to import key application, key widget, push button, table widget. Actually, I don't need uh, push button for this demo. Q table widget, Q table widget item, and for the layout is based on use case. And from the Qt core module, I'm going to import the Qt class. All right, so you've never used Q table widget before. So when you construct a Q table widget object, you can uh, pass the uh, rows and columns dimension when you construct the object on default. And that's what these parameters are for. Now, to implement the uh, copy paste feature or function, we need to modify the key plus event. And this event takes an event uh, argument. All right, so here let me print the event inside the key plus event uh, method. Now, going back to the uh, main app. I'm going to replace Q table widget with the uh, table widget template. And I'll set the uh, table dimension to 1000 rows and four counts. Now if I launch the application, and here let me type something, uh, ABC. Notice that here, the key plus event is going to fire, and the event uh, argument is going to return as a Q key event object. So basically this object allows us to uh, manipulate different uh, keystrokes or different uh, key events. All right, so inside the uh, key plus event method, I want to check what keys are pressed. All right, so for the uh, shortcut for pasting, it's going to be uh, control V. So here I'm going to check if the uh, V uh, keystroke is pressed. And this will be uppercase. And if the first condition is met, then I want to check if the control key is also pressed. 
Right, so to uh, check if the control key is pressed, we can reference the event argument that modifiers. And here we're going to insert the ampersand symbol to indicate that we want to check uh, which modifier is pressed. So from qt.keyboard modifier, the control key is going to be control modifier. And this to struggle into its own group. Right, so here if I take, uh, I'm going to copy just one of the cell. Now if I do the shortcut control uh, C, and here I have a typo, let me take a look. So this should be N, uh, not the ampersand symbol. Uh, because we're basically checking against uh, these two conditions. All right, so let me try again. I'm going to copy one of the cells. And here I'm going to do a control C. And because I'm pressing control C instead of uh, control V, so this condition is not going to be met. Therefore, uh, the event object is not going to be print. Now, if I use the shortcut control V, and because uh, these two conditions are met, therefore the event argument is going to get print. So just very uh, basic logic. Now here I want to uh, grab the location where my uh, mouse cursor is located. All right, so we can grab the uh, cell location from self that select indexes. And here I want to check uh, if selection is not uh, empty. So basically uh, this means that we have select one of the uh, cells on the Q table widget area. I want to grab the uh, row anchor. And so it's going to be the uh, first cell. So let's say if I uh, select 20 cells, I'm only going to use the uh, first cell as the anchor point to paste my content. All right, so this is going to be the first element. And because uh, this is going to return a list, so that's why here we need to uh, provide the position index. And I'll do the same thing for column anchor. And this will be row, and this will be column. All right, so once we have the uh, cell reference or the cell location where we want to paste the content. Now we need to transfer the content from the clipboard to the uh, table widget. So from Q application, there's a method called clipboard, uh, which allows uh, the library to access the clipboard's information. Now if I print clipboard.txt, Now here I'm going to uh, copy the table here, and I'll paste my content in uh, in row five uh, second column. And based on the uh, clipboard's uh, response, and it's what the output is going to look like. And because uh, there's no uh, common separator, so we need to uh, handle the uh, separation on our own. And here's the uh, solution that I came out with. So first, I'm going to uh, split the content by its row. Right, so here, uh, let me go back. Oh, uh, let me insert the print function. All right, so here if we split the uh, content by uh, this special symbol. And this is the uh, escape uh, new line uh, special character representation. Now we have the list of uh, each row. The next thing we need to do here is we can uh, separate each item by the uh, tab key. So this is going to return uh, the rows. 
down to uh, ERA, uh, each island. From the uh, rows option. And to identify the column index, I'm going to insert the uh, numerate function to return uh, the index as well. All right, so I'm going to split uh, the row item by the tab key. And this will give us the uh, values. Now I'm going to get rid each value in uh, enumerate values. So this is going to uh, return individual cell items. And we're going to uh, convert this to a Q table widget item object. And I'm going to pass the value as the uh, value down to display. All right, so to uh, display the item on the Q table widget, we're going to use the uh, set item method. So here the self um, is referencing the parent widget, which is uh, in this case, Q table widget. All right, so we're going to uh, insert the row anchor first, plus the index row. So this is going to be the row location where we're going to uh, paste the content. And it's going to be the column location, followed by the uh, value we want to display. And lastly, we need to uh, return the uh, key plus signal back to its parent. Right, so this is going to be uh, everything we need to write to configure the copy paste function. Now, here let me increase the column uh, size to let's do uh, 15. And I'll increase the row size to 5000. Because uh, for the testing, I want to paste a lot more records this time. All right, so let me uh, launch my tool and let me grab some records from my uh, database. Okay, so never mind. I'm going to uh, just copy this table here. Let's see how many uh, rows we have. 2,156. And we have 11 columns. All right, so I'm going to copy the uh, table here and I'll launch the application. And here I'm going to uh, paste the table uh, in 136. So control V and here, oh. And it should be a uh, set item. All right, so I guess uh, that should fix all the issues. All right, so let me copy the table again, just in case. And I'll go back to uh, the application. And I'll do the uh, shortcut, Control V, to paste the table. So here are the table headers. And we have 2,156 records. All right, so if I go down to the uh, last record, and we have, uh, let's see, we have a uh, combo for uh, this column value. And right here is the uh, last value, which matches to uh, what we have here. Alright, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.